Hey YouTube, it's Matt Guy Reports here giving you guys an unboxing video of the Airport Extreme. Um, for me, this is an upgrade from my Lynx's uh, wireless G router that I've had for um, probably five years or better. But anyway, um, let's get started. Back. I took the cellophane off of it already to try to make it a little easier to get in, but apparently I still can't get in. Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay, here we are. Um, kind of see if we can get some focus here. Um, there you go. And it's just a uh, plain surface. That is the unit itself. Um, it's got the Apple logo on it. It's got cooler tabs allow you to pull it out a little easier. Let's put that to the side for a second. And uh, the unit actually has a pretty good amount of weight to it. I didn't expect that. But uh, underneath what's included, uh, got some software. Looks like it says install software before connecting base station. That's kind of interesting. Don't know why, but we're gonna do that. Um, here are your standard FCC stuff, and you have uh, Airport Extreme Guide uh, setup. Um, provided cables. Looks like what is this? Hmm. Ah, it's kind of cool. It's just the uh, uh, power converter, but it looks like you have a power converter, and that's about it. So that is everything that's in the box that comes with the Airport Extreme. Um, let's go back to the unit itself. It's still in cellophane. Um, I'll unwrap it in a short period of time here. Can't do that one-handed, but anyway. Um, looking at the IOs on the back, uh, I don't know if we can, how good we can see that. There we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. We see from uh, left to right, power connector, USB. Um, looks like you have your WAN input. Um, and it has a little funny logo on it. I guess that's Apple's thing. Um, and then you have, it looks like three. Hmm. That might be a problem for me. I have four computers that I connect wireless, wirelessly, or wired, I should say. But anyway, um, you have uh, three Ethernet connections. They should be gigabit. Um, and then to the right should be your, uh, there it looks like maybe it's a reset button. And then to the very right, that looks like a lock, um, like a little laptop lock thing. So, But on the bottom, Apple logo, cool logo. So on the bottom, you'll never see it kind of a waste, but uh, <laughs> whatever, on the front, looks like there is uh, power signal indicator probably, um, I'm used to a lot more lights on mine, huh? but anyway, um, that is it, this is Mac Guy Reports, uh, giving you guys a first look at my new Airport Extreme, what I want to do though is go ahead and give a, a review of what I think about it and how it compares to what I'm upgrading from, I'll um, give you guys some background, the reason why I upgraded to this is my router works, of course, but this has the wireless end technology. It should work better with my um, my MacBook Pro. But then this guy here, the USB, uh, if you guys are like me and you want to use Time Machine, um, I would like to have use Time Machine, but to a, lar a very large drive. Right now, I'm only going to use it with a 500 gigabyte uh, Western Digital, you know, one of the my books or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to plug it in there. From what I've read, you can back up to that um, using... Um, uh, time machine, but uh, if that works out well, then I'll be buying a Drobo. And if you don't know what a Drobo is, definitely there's a bunch of videos out on what the Drobo is and how it works. It is for me going to be the best solution for backing up all uh, backing up all my computers uh, to one place, but also use it as a generic kind of um, uh, media server. You know, and definitely it's it's all I need. I don't see why anybody else would need anything more than that to. Uh, you know, serve media. But uh, anyway, um, that's that's it for now. I'll give you guys a review as soon as I.